What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Miles World and right now we're going to be talking about Charles Woodson having 99 catch in Madden 23. Now obviously he's not upgraded that crazy but the way he plays I had to go back and get him. So I'm going to explain to you guys why we actually went back to Charles Woodson. I'm going to show you guys a new upgraded uh, defense that we're running and why we should run the defense like this. Now if you've been aggressive catch or agged as they're calling it now uh, let me know. Type one in the comment section but just remember this has been my offense since I started playing playing Madden way, way back. Even back in the day, a lot of you guys weren't even alive. I was playing Madden throwing streaks. It's just what I do. Okay, so now that everybody's getting agged, they're trying to figure out ways to stop it. Obviously, man coverage just welcomes it, right? So it's not something that's going to be able to really stop it. Um, I've been running primarily a lot of zone now. I will switch to man coverage in specific, you know, situations. But for the most part, I just go out there and I'm in zone primarily a cover four. So Champ Bailey was a problem. This dude sucked. Michael Strahan, I didn't like him. Some of you guys, you know, agreed with me that he sucked. Some of you guys said he's the best card in the game. And that's fine. We can disagree, whatever. But I'm just letting you guys know. I rage sold T-Sizzle and got him right back. Because I immediately noticed his impact. All right? Now, in order to make sure that you don't get agged on a regular basis, you're going to need players like Charles, you know, Charles Woodson. Right? Now, he's 6'1", and it's not about the fact that He's more undersized. It's about the fact that he gets that deep out zone KO for two. It's like discounted. So you're able to have that in your defense as well. So that way, even if you don't like, even if you're about to get mossed, he will definitely knock the ball out in most cases. All right. So we're going to take a look at what's going on. All right. He gets the legend chem deep out zone KO for two. He also gets the flat zone for one. Now, some of you guys are like, yo, gee, why not just give him flat zone so he has an ability? Flat zone is going to work. It only works from 0 to 10 yards. Dudes are getting agged on a regular basis. It's nasty. Dudes like, bro, I, I've got... Dudes are running my O against me, and I'm starting to realize the pain that I put people through in Madden 20 when I was running Streak Specialist and created a whole savage environment. You know, pro players were raging. It was really nasty. It, it was out of control. But look, it doesn't matter. Everybody's running the aggressive catches, so we had to get somebody that has that type of catching like Charles Woodson. This guy... If you throw it to his side, usually it's either going to be a drop or it's going to be an interception. All right? So in my opinion, the dude got 99 catch. You know what I'm saying? I would say to get him on your team, uh, regardless of how you got to do it, 92 speed. If he is part of your regular theme teams, you can get him up to a 93 speed. All right? So with the way that I'm running it defensively, I'm going to go ahead and break down uh, the way that I've been, you know, utilizing Charles Woodson in the, um, you know, the defense. We've been running the nickel over. Still the same thing. Cover three, cover four. Leaving him in the deep blue is what makes him activate to be able to pick the ball. If you run man coverage for some reason, usually man coverage is really, really good with stopping like mossing and stuff. Not this year though. So the way that I'm using him, I just keep him in the deep blue. All right. So look, what else am I doing? I'm going to show you what's going on. Chris McAllister, a lot of people don't really realize this. I know he gets that mid KO for one, right? But he also gets deep out, deep out zone KO for two. So he's one of the more useful cards, but again, this is what you have to understand. If you do run the nickel package, you're probably safe putting these guys at safety. And I'm gonna explain why. The deep out zone KO, it lights up whether you're inside the numbers or outside the numbers. And guess what it does? It triggers knockouts. So if you're one of those guys that are really, really scared, like, yo, bro, I don't know, man. When I click on, I'm getting mossed. We've all been there. Everybody's gonna get mossed. You know, I, just look in the comments, it's a lot of ones, everybody gets mossed. But how do we stop it consistently? Having the right ability is going to help you with that. So these guys play safety for me, all right? And again, with him, I don't know, like, you, will he pick it off? He's 6'1 also. You know, sometimes he'll drop the rock, so I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know right now, Charles Woodson, he's gonna pick that. He got like 99 catch in this game, all right? This guy, you'll get a knockout. All right, you'll definitely get a knockout, but for the most part, you won't really, it's not gonna be a consistent situation of just going out there and just having a field day. You know what I'm saying? Like, can he pick it off every time you about to get a, you know, ag? I would, I would probably lean to no, but he gets the ability for that discounted rate, so he's good right now for us. Now, you're probably saying, okay, if they're playing safeties, who are your corners in the nickel? Right now, Steve Big Atwater. Yes, that's his name. If you look it up, no, nah, that's a lie. That ain't, that ain't his name, bro. That's a wild situation. Yo, bro, Big though. I don't think anybody would put middle the middle name Big unless it's just like it's just ridiculous. Why would you do that? But doesn't really matter. 
Now, I know you look at it and you're like, yo, gee, this guy is mad slow. Like, what are you doing? You know, you powered him up. He gets that one AP mid zone KO. That's why. Because when you zone him, anything within that mid zone area, guess what you're getting? Knockouts. And that's all we're looking for because when you run the KOs and, you know, you're still getting mossed, it's because the man coverage, although it's OP, when you get somebody that just throws the ball in the air, depending on how it's thrown, EA Sports is going to make that receiver win. But if you have bigger players out there, a 6-3 safety on the outside with the two safeties having the deep out zone KOs, you're going to have a lot more success of covering more of the field. Now, the other player that I'm going to show you that plays corner for me, some of you guys may not have him. Let me know in the comments if you were able to get him. Uh, he was a season one player uh, from one of the competitive players, uh, Woolen. He's going to be the last guy I'm going to show you guys, just pretty much formulating the guys that catch the ball the best. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the players that are going to make sure that they can stop the Moss. That's what you need to be able to do. You have to stop the Moss. All right. The slot corner is Night Train and we give him pick artists. You know, with Night Train, it's a give and take, bro. Like sometimes he'll play crazy. He did cause a fumble for me um, earlier, but he's also 6'1". So you're noticing that these players are not really undersized that I'm showing you guys. And you're also looking for a better catch rating so you'll be able to stop the Moss. All right, so we're going to go ahead and back out of that really quickly. And then I'm going to show you Woolen. And then with Woolen, he's the other outside corner. Now you might say, yo, gee, he's kind of slow. It don't, it, listen, it doesn't really matter right now because with the way the speed threshold works, um, he's going to still be able to get back there. No, he's not a legend. Is he on a legend theme team? Yes, but he's not a legend. And he's still good enough to play for us. That's the key point. If a player is good enough to still play on your roster, keep them. This guy should never be quick sold until they give us another 6'4 corner. Maybe a Brandon Browner, uh, maybe a Richard Sherman that's 6'3, uh, something like that. We might get rid of this guy, but he's going to play up the field and he won't, even if he gets mossed, it's like very, very rare and they usually give him decent animations if you click on. So if you're not clicking on, that might be a problem. And uh, the ability that we give him is pick artists because we want better animations when we go for the, you know, for the pick. Uh, will this help him to get his catching up? It does. It helps for him to actually pick the ball off. Now, as far as users go, because some of you guys are like, yeah, but what about the user? My user is Cam Bam Bam. You know what I'm saying? Bam Bam Cam. And right now I have Enforcer on him. Uh, some of you guys are like, yo, G, you might as well give him, uh, you know, pick artists too. So that way when you pick it, it's guaranteed six. I don't really feel the need for that. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what else I want to do. Uh, the double the double or nothing is still good on Clay, Big Daddy Matthews. And I'm just relaxing right now with the way that I have it set up. But with Charles Woodson having that 99 catch, bro, and picking off Mosses, I think we're in good shape. And everything that I showed you guys now, it seems to be working. Now, if you wanted to go another route, um, you know, Enforcer doesn't really generally work. Um, I don't think he gets pick artists right now. Yeah, he doesn't even get it. He has to achieve a 95 overall. So that's ultimately what I would suggest. You could, you know, go out of my way, all that stuff. But I prefer using a 1 AP ability, in my opinion. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Have you gotten, you know, gotten Charles Woodson back if you rate sold him like I did? Let me know. Give me all the details in the comment section. Other than that, you guys enjoy your day. Stay well, stay blessed. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.